Okay, so first map will always be whirlwind. Uh, just whirlwind for just this round of the tournament, I uh, believe. I, yeah, I, I'd expect it to be so. So this is probably going to be the same round. I don't know which round though. This but is anyways, round three. It is round three, okay. Uh, anyways, introducing our players here. Warning in the bottom left hand side of Whirlwind. It is going to be the Blue Zerg player playing for yeah, Fnatic. It is Zenster. Zenster just taking a moment. Well, Blackbird's even just taking a moment. Um, I'll wait for him to return because it would be remiss of me to introduce him while he's out of the room. Just having a little lag trouble. Yeah, but... And as uh, soon as this is resolved, I hope it's not you, Elmo. No, it's definitely... Why should... I have good internet. No, uh, since since that it's definitely not lagging, it should be definitely uh, on on black sides, uh, blackbird sides. Uh, so we we have no, we are not the the the. Uh, just just introduce them. Yeah, yeah, I will do. So in the right hand side, sporting the bottom right, even representing the Czech team, Isuba. He is the red Protoss player. He's blackbirds. Indeed, so once again, Schmickel is just singing in the background, you cannot hear him though. Uh, so once again, Down we producer. will have, <laughs> we'll have a PVC matchup, uh, but this time we have quote-unquote close spawning positions. They are not really close, but they are closer than cross, if you get me. <laughs> sure, we've got a... Fairly standard opening coming from our Zerg play. Yep, the 14 pool goes down as normal. We've got Protoss macroing up. We've got the players attempting to blame the casters for the lag. Always the casters, uh, man. Always the casters, isn't it? Always the casters. Oh, look at that opening here from Zenster going for. That, that was uh, some interesting opening, I have to tell you that much. Uh, going for gas first and a gateway at 15 supply. That's that's new to me. I, I don't know what that is, but just probably because I'm bad. <laughs> it, it it suggests the potential for aggression, which on whirlwind is an interesting choice to make, because it, as we previously discussed when we casted this same match upon this same map, it, it's a big map which heavily favors Zerg players that can get, get their macro going. So. Perhaps a decent blind counter to that is aggression, but of course the Protoss player has got to figure out where his opponent is at the same time. He will shortly, if he's got his eyes on the minimap, see this Overlord arrive from the left-hand side of his base, and that will be the dead giveaway as to where his opponent is. In fact, yeah, you might even see it now with this probe that's just on its way out. Well, I think he's going to see it. He will definitely... Yeah, no, okay, he saw it, so he definitely knows that his opponent is to his left. Uh, which definitely is already very nice here for Blackwoods, which pretty much eliminates all the other positions, so he definitely will get a quick scout if he wants to. So far, not going to. Oh, we already see Sandstar going here for a small pick with two Zerglings. They might eventually get something done, just because we have no units so far. So eventually we might see some probes that are going to be pulled off the line here, just because there's no other thing to actually deal with those Zerglings. Doing this is really well timed because behind this he's taken his third. It looks like he is just about gonna get this pylon down. It's gonna be very, very close. He might stick with it because those probes aren't gonna deal out too much damage. Oh, he's gonna do a nice little bit of dancing micro. Can he get that probe down? Can he get the pylon down? It's gonna be so close to military. Oh, oh, down it goes. That's there a spanner in the works. There's already supply blocking actually. Like uh, a sense to, uh, not a sense, but blackbirds. Which uh, cuts off his probe production just a little bit. Will be slowed down here by a couple of seconds, but definitely already a very nice victory. And he also only lost one Zergling, which is basically half a supply and 25 minerals. So very nice trade there for A really, really nice trade, and that's not even mentioning the, uh, the setback that's going to be on Blackbird's build. He's throwing down a Robo now. He's finally... He's... First, no, he's not in fact building a photon cannon. That is, yet. That is a, a very quick robo, though. It's a very, very quick robo. Is he having established where the Zerg player is? Is he going to go for some sort of quick aggression, a kind of immortal bust, perhaps? He doesn't want to let the Zerg macro up. Yeah, maybe also he's maybe going for some sort of immortal drops. 
Ah, uh, but that is definitely a very, very interesting position. He put that robo and he definitely don't want that to be scouted by any means. Uh, so he's definitely already doing a very nice job at hiding that. Of course, if an overlord were to look into that from coming from the third base, that might eventually be spotted, but so far, n no overlords are positioned, no any, even near that position to be able to spot that. So uh, he should be fine. There's an overlord just on its way in, he's just had a little poke at the front to see what's being built, and he's on his way back. So, yep, that robot's going to go and scout it. The first immortal has popped. A warp prison now is on the way, so it, who, yeah, the call of overlord drops. The call of overlord drops. Overlord drops. The call of. <laughs> I was also of mentioning drops. medivac drops Next lately. Next to be a very good one. <laughs> I was also mentioning medivac drops lately, but uh, that I've, wouldn't um, make any sense. I've seen. Um, what should I call it? Drops. That's Viking cool drops, isn't it? Viking drops. Yes, I've yeah. seen Viking drops. Anyways, yeah, drop is not going to be spotted anytime close here, which is already very, very nice here for Blackbirds. He will already have a very, very nice spot, and his second immortal will be chrono boosted out here for him. But if Blackbirds is an unlucky here, he might actually get spotted by one of those overlords that is nicely positioned along the south side here by Zanster. So he's already having a very nice map position. We'll also spot here the, the first proxy paladins being thrown down by Blackbirds. Of course, Mothership Core will eventually. Uh, try to protect that, but it will definitely not finish. Uh, well, I think he got one or two links there in trade up for that, so that's not too bad, and he also cancelled it. There's a wave of links moving out across the map now, and it looks like he's going to spread them, he's going to move in, and he's going to try and sneak in, and there's still no cannon at that front, so these links will have relatively free reign until this cannon's built to do as much damage as they like. The Protoss army completely out of position, it's pushing in with its immortals, its war prisms on its way, so. It's surely gonna happen in back Elmo. Oh look at that, there was actually a hole in the wall of that is bad, bad luck. Underneath that, that tree! Oh my god, who would have thunk him? Anyways, at the same time Blackbirds is going to move on to the creep here with a lot of stellets and immortals, so he's also definitely going to look uh, to do some damage. But with all of those links in his main base, he will also move certainly to uh, take a lot of damage here from that. And look at that Artos. Oh, this uh, is I almost caught you dead. Uh, uh, not a Tosis himself. <laughs> but no, no not, not yet. So, <laughs> some zealots have walked in to uh, try and hold off these links, but there's just so many running across the map. There's so little production available for Protoss. It looks like it's going to be a base race, Elmo, and I know who I fancy to win that. Absolutely. Yeah. Links are, on the other hand, also taking out the uh, natural nexus here, and that is just so many units streaming up that main base here for Zensler. But of course, on the other side, we still see those immortals, and they are freaking good at killing off uh, buildings. So we also definitely have some chances here for Blackbird. He will eventually use the recall here, but I think it is will, it will be a little bit too late here for him. He will eventually recall here, but he's gonna lose that Artos pile, and everything is unpowered. And still, the Zerg has his third base up. Uh, will take some damage in the main build, but he's also already getting his four base. So I think he should be fine. Look at the supplies. Look how many pylons the Protoss player needs to build just to get back in the black on supply. He needs a good four pylons, I believe, to get back there, but he is still counter-attacking. There's a warp prism that's it, it, it's causing a little bit of harass up at the Zerg third. There's still obviously the force of zealots in at the main that's running around. The natural's gone. The main... It would have fallen, but the zealots have pulled away to try and tackle somebody. Now the roaches have turned up. Roaches quite good at zealots. They can kite those all day. And once these zealots go down, there's going to be a big, big problem for our Protoss player here. Absolutely already looking at the workers. We see 18 probes to 35 drones here for Sandster, which is already a very nice uh, position to be in. And we have three bases for the Zerg player to one for the Protoss player, so Zenster is pretty much in a perfect position and he's I think he's just gonna go for it right now. Looks like he might be he doesn't want to take a bad engagement here. We could see some nice immortal pick up and drop micro here just to keep them up as possible. That oh the first one nearly falling. There's not that many hit points left among those but that mothership can just slowly whittle away. He is now gonna push across the map however with all of his forces and there's just not enough at home. There's a, just enough money to warp in a few units. Those warp gates are once again powered up. But the Zerg player is just going to keep chipping away. Keep Look at chipping that, now away. we have five pylons actually supporting the structure. But eventually now the roaches are going to push for you. They will eventually breach those uh, that cellar wall in and will stream into the main here. This uh, immortal, so once again going to be dropped here. 
nice warp through Spyro though by Blackbird. He is very much doing a very good job here at making the most out of them. But I think it's just not gonna be enough eventually. Also the salads that were are uh, going for a run by here are going to be killed off. And with that it's just pretty much only a couple of zealots and those two immortals that are there for Blackwoods to make anything happen and it is not going to be enough. It looks like he may... no, he can very, very nearly hold this push off. It's just going to be more and more Zerg in the stupid than that. He's, he's the walking dead here, I fear. <laughs> Indeed he is, I mean, sure, eventually he will hold that next push, but just Blackwoods on come here one base map, with 18 workers. And look at all those units, indeed. Once again, so many Zerglings, they will take out the Immortal. GG is called. And we see Sensor taking a quick game number one here. Well, it was not that quick, but uh, I suppose 14 minutes and 30 seconds is not too quick. But it was quick. <laughs> it certainly was. He, um, he responded very, very well to what he saw from the, the, the Protoss player. And what he saw was an incomplete wall in. I don't know whether it was the tree on the map that confused